The Exponential Age Exposes Linear Thinkers. Why Warren Buffett Misunderstands Bitcoin. Introduction. Warren Buffett, widely regarded as one of the most successful investors of all time, has consistently criticized Bitcoin, calling it rat poison squared and insisting that it doesn't do anything. His remarks reflect his deeply entrenched traditional investing philosophy, grounded in decades of experience with companies that generate cash flow and yield. However, Buffett's critique reveals a deeper problem, his inability to grasp the emerging paradigm of exponential technologies, including Bitcoin, AI, and digital assets. The world has shifted, especially post-global financial crisis, GFC, and the COVID-19 pandemic. The emphasis is no longer solely on creating business value through traditional industries, but on preserving purchasing power in an era of rampant monetary supply expansion. Bitcoin's unique properties expose those who cling to linear economic models. And unfortunately, Buffett finds himself in that trap, commenting on assets far beyond his core expertise. Buffett's traditional investment philosophy. Buffett has built his fortune through a disciplined focus on businesses with clear, predictable cash flows. He famously gravitates towards industries like insurance, consumer goods, beverages, and financial institutions, sectors that deliver consistent, tangible returns in the form of dividends or interest payments. These are assets he understands deeply, stocks with built-in yield mechanisms and bonds with interest-bearing structures. Technology, however, has always been outside his comfort zone. His late investment in Apple, after the mobile revolution was well underway, is a stark example of his avoidance of tech. Buffett openly admitted that he didn't understand the technology sector, which is why he stuck to familiar industries. While this conservative approach has protected him from the volatility of speculative tech investments, it has also led to missed opportunities in understanding the next generation of transformative assets, Bitcoin being the most glaring example. The paradigm shift from linear to exponential thinking. In the exponential age, linear models no longer suffice. Technologies like AI, blockchain, and Bitcoin operate on entirely different principles, scaling rapidly and disrupting traditional systems. These innovations challenge the concept of capital assets that Buffett built his empire on. Bitcoin, for example, introduces a new asset class with properties Buffett's linear framework struggles to comprehend. Unlike traditional stocks or bonds, Bitcoin doesn't have a yield-bearing structure built into its legal framework. Instead, its value comes from its scarcity, decentralization, and the ability to function as a borderless, digital, pristine collateral asset, available 24-7, 365, unbound by the constraints of geography or traditional financial systems. This content is brought to you by Bobby Giggs. Promote your brand here and reach a wide audience across platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Follow the links in the description to get started. Buffett's linear thinking traps him in a world where assets must generate yield or dividends to have value. But in the exponential age, capital preservation, liquidity, and global transferability are equally, if not more, important. Bitcoin represents this shift, operating in a decentralized network where financial intermediaries are no longer necessary and assets are secured through cryptographic trust, not centralized institutions. Bitcoin's value proposition beyond traditional metrics. Buffett's criticism of Bitcoin is rooted in his inability to see past traditional investment metrics. Gold and Bitcoin, in his view, don't do anything because they don't produce dividends or create products. However, this view overlooks the role that assets like Bitcoin play in a rapidly digitizing world. Bitcoin is often likened to digital gold, a store of value with minimal financial leakage and maintenance costs. Unlike physical assets, which require collateralization, fractionalization, or renting to generate yield, Bitcoin's strength lies in its pristine nature. Its digital scarcity, capped at 21 million coins, makes it immune to inflationary pressures, while its decentralized network ensures that it remains secure and transferable without the need for centralized intermediaries. Bitcoin can be collateralized, fractionalized, and lent out for yield in emerging financial markets, particularly within the decentralized finance, DeFi space. This means that while Bitcoin may not generate traditional yield, it can still be deployed in modern financial ecosystems to create value. The key difference is that Bitcoin preserves its capital 
while offering liquidity and flexibility, something traditional assets often struggle to achieve without significant maintenance costs. Buffett's overreach, commentary beyond core competence. Buffett's reluctance to embrace technology is not new. His famous admission that he avoided investing in Apple because he didn't understand it reflects a broader pattern of overlooking technological shifts. His criticism of Bitcoin is a continuation of this pattern, an overreach beyond his circle of competence. While Buffett's expertise in traditional industries like insurance, beverages, and financial institutions is unquestionable, his understanding of exponential technologies like Bitcoin and AI is limited. His critique of Bitcoin as doing nothing reveals a fundamental misunderstanding of how digital assets operate in the modern financial system. In an era where capital preservation and borderless liquidity are increasingly valued, Buffett's traditionalist perspective falls short. Conclusion. Warren Buffett's legacy in traditional investing is unmatched, but his critique of Bitcoin reveals the limitations of linear thinking in an exponential age. The world is changing, with Bitcoin, AI, and digital assets challenging the conventional wisdom of yield generation and asset valuation. While Buffett's expertise has served him well in the industries of the past, it has not adapted to the emerging realities of modern finance. Bitcoin, as a pristine collateral asset with minimal financial leakage, 24-7 global transferability, and digital scarcity, represents a paradigm shift that Buffett struggles to comprehend. His traditional framework is no longer sufficient to understand the full potential of these innovations, marking his critique as an overreach beyond his core competence. In an era where exponential growth is redefining finance and economics, Buffett's remarks serve as a reminder that even the most successful investors can be trapped by outdated models. The exponential age exposes linear thinkers, and Warren Buffett, unfortunately, has been caught in that trap.